Welcome to the Inspired with Nika Lori podcast. Can you can you share your story of um, how did you heal yourself? How did you um, uh, stop this uh, RA from really destroying your body? Thanks. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's so funny because in retrospect, you can just go, well, this, 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 and this. But when you're yeah. going through it, it's not <laughs> it's a whole journey. It's yeah. hell. I mean, it's literally hell. And I, I am so grateful for that, you know, dark night of the soul because mm -hmm. it, it really forced me to look inside of myself. Um, I think the first thing was the beautiful loss of identity. And I know that sounds mm -hmm. really strange, but I lost everything. I mean, I, yeah. like I mentioned, I couldn't get dressed on my own. I felt, I didn't feel like a woman. I didn't feel like anything. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pick up my son. I couldn't. So there was an extraordinary loss of identity. And what I found when I lost all the things that I thought I was, I found the truth of who I really was. And mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. while my body was in pain, I noticed that I was still here inside somewhere. There was, it's, it's difficult to put into words and I'm trying to kind of um, be simple about it, but there was a very strong depth of soul that was there. Yeah, like that, your essence or something, yeah. Exactly. And when I started to tune into that, I got little cues, little, mm -hmm. why don't you go look over there? Or why don't you try this? And it was very simple and very easy and nothing was forced. I mean, I was in a lot of pain. So I spent a lot of time just sitting and crying and seeking um, something different. And mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't going to take the drugs because I wanted to hold on to my lifespan. <laughs> yeah. Um, I knew I was in for some radical change, but what I did do is I, okay, I looked at some of the research and first I found a clinic, I think it was in Switzerland that, um, was a naturopathic clinic that worked mm -hmm. specifically with autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. And lo and mm -hmm. behold, they had a theory of going alkaline, like a full alkaline diet. Yeah. Um, and I said, wow, nobody's talked to me about alkaline and acid and acidosis and all of this stuff that I had then go, wait, I read, I read more and more and I read more and more and they have a lot of success with that. So I thought, okay, you can do that. You can totally change your diet. And, and that's not a huge price to pay considering the pain I was in. So the first thing I did was change my diet to full alkaline. I think I only ate green vegetables. My husband said <laughs> I was like a bunny rabbit. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I ate green vegetables. I mean, I lost a lot of weight, but I, I was just eating greens and I juiced and I, I did everything I could to only eat alkaline. I got those little litmus tests that you can get that tests your acid level, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. in your urine. So I did that every morning. I was hugely acidic, hugely mm -hmm, acidic. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, there's something here. Um, so I went on an alkaline diet and then the next thing was I discovered through my research, um, the leaky gut, which nobody ever told me about before yeah. either. And I was fascinated <laughs> which is, with that. Which is, you know, all of us um, are affected by it, right? And yeah, nobody was talking and about it. Yeah. It's, it's mind blowing because it's so logical and it's so simple. So the acidosis, negative emotion, toxins, environmental toxins, toxic food, if you're not eating yes. organic, all of this stuff just compounds and compounds in your own body. I didn't know, you know, we kind of just, mm -hmm. just go around life, not, not thinking about this stuff. But so those are the two main things that I did physically yeah. was I went after healing a leaky gut. Um, and I think the protocol was just, again, alkaline diet was huge. Uh, but also, um, there were some amino acids. I think it was L-lysine that I used and, mm -hmm. um, my magic sauce I call is high MGO Manuka honey. Mm -hmm. um, which I would take a teaspoon of, I think it was MGO 830 or more, like super high, um, potent Manuka honey. And that seemed to really have an effect on healing my gut. Yeah. So those were the two physical things. Everything else was lifestyle mindset and, uh, mental, spiritual, and emotional change. 
I love that you add that in because, you know, I have this conversation a lot of times with people about we need to change diet and lifestyle, right? Dealing with autoimmune diseases or metabolic diseases. Um, but there's a huge factor in that you can change the food you're eating, which is truly important. You can reduce the toxin exposure that you're facing. So removing pesticides, being careful about containers and packaging and all these different things. Um, but there really is an important side to you also have to change your your mental state around your disease, around your approach towards life, around um, you, your spiritual connection, whether that's a religious thing or just an internal connection, whatever that is. You really have to bring that to the forefront just as much as you would any other aspect that you're going to change in your health journey. And it's hugely empowering. Um, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, I, I think that if I had just changed my diet, I'd still be sick. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, the grabbing my big girl boots and pulling them up and saying, I cut everyone off the hook. No one is responsible for where I am right now. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom, my dad, my husband, no one, uh, no matter how much of a pain in the booty. I thought my husband was from time <laughs> to time and, yeah. um, how much I was agonizing about our, you know, government, whatever, whatever was around. Yeah. Uh, I cut everyone off the hook and I took 120% responsibility for my own existence and my own life. That in and of itself is hugely empowering because no one, and it's not about blaming yourself or being down mm -hmm. on yourself. It's being like, okay, I'm going to put my boat in the water right where I am. Here I am. How do I navigate this stream? I'm on a I'm on a white river, you know, ride and I need to I need to steer this boat. And so that was hugely empowering. And I also noticed when I did my research was that um, anxiety, negative emotion, stress, all of that contributes yes. to disease and to acidosis and to Absolutely. leaky gut. So it's yeah. all kind of intertwined. <laughs> Yeah. Um, 